hello students welcome to this video series and in this video series you will find the solution of UGC net June paper 2 of computer science and applications the first question is infrared signals can be used for short-range communication in a closed area using which propagation so different propagation methods are given like ground sky line of sight and space and uh, these propagations methods depend on frequency ranges of signals like uh, in this question infrared signals are given infrared signals basically are electromagnetic signals they are invisible to human eye according to the frequency range we have to decide which propagation is appropriate for the signal like so for uh, ground propagation method we have uh, for ground propagation method the frequency range frequency range is 3 to 300 megahertz uh, sorry it's kilohertz and uh, this kind of uh, propagation method used for uh, uh, those signals who has uh, low frequency for low frequency signals this kind of propagation method is used ground propagation method and uh, sky propagation method frequency range is uh, 3 to 300 megahertz so those signals who has medium frequency medium level frequency so that kind of signals use this kind of propagation method and uh, line of sight uh, the frequency range is 3 to 300 gigahertz so those signals who has high frequency so, so that kind of signals used line of sight propagation method basically infrared signals frequency ranges 300 uh, gigahertz onwards so infrared signals use line of sight propagation method question is a bridge has access to which address in the same network as we know that data link layer is responsible for providing physical address or MAC address bridge occur at data link layer so bridge giving it access giving it access to the physical address of all stations connected to it basically bridge occur at the data link layer of the OSI model which means bridge cannot read IP addresses which used in the network layer so uh, bridge is read only a physical address of the different different stations which are connected to it so the answer of this question is C next question is the minimum frame length for 10 mbps ethernet is and uh, maximum length in bytes minimum frame length of ethernet minimum frame length of ethernet 802.3 is 64 bytes and uh, the 
Ethernet frame contains seven fields and the fields are preamble SFD destination address source address length data and padding and CRC cyclic redundancy check so uh, these two fields actually they are uh, added at the physical layer so they are not formally part of this frame so we left destination address source address length data pad padding and CRC destination address is 6 byte 6 byte 2 byte for length and uh, 4 byte for CRC check now total is 6 plus 6 plus 2 plus 4 is 18 bytes so minimum data for padding minimum data is 64 bits for minimum frame length 64 minus 18 is 46 bytes right and uh, the maximum data which is allowed is I'm writing here maximum data which is allowed is equal to 1500 bytes so maximum Ethernet frame length is 1500 for maximum data plus 18 bytes these 18 bytes we calculated okay here so we get 1518 bytes so minimum frame length for a 10 mbps ethernet is 64 bytes and maximum is 1518 so the answer is this question for uh, is third next question is the bit rate of of a signal is 3000 mbps uh, sorry bps uh, bits per second if each signal unit carries six bits the port rate of the signal is this is a very simple question direct formula based in our lectures we already discussed the port rate is equal to 1 by 6 of bit rate bit rate is bits per second and uh, this thing is already given 3000 we get 35 60 30 0 so the answer is 500 baud per second next question is match the following list one is osi layers different different layers and uh, list two is functionality of these layers so one by one we discussed about these layers so first layer is first layer is physical layer physical layer the physical layer deals with communication media deals with 
communication media and uh, it defines physical topology for connections defining physical topology physical topology topology for connections receives frames from data link layer and uh, convert it into bit of streams bits of streams so the physical layer functionality is transmission of bit of streams okay so mainly uh, uh, three functionalities of this physical layer uh, communication media deals with physical topology for connections and it receives frames and convert it into bits of stream that's why I match physical layer with transmission of bit streams the next layer is data link layer data link layer responsible for providing MAC address MAC or you can say physical address and this data link layer receives packets and convert it into frames next layer is so the data link layer functionalities formation of frames now third network layer network layer provides IP address IP addresses find routes different routes you can say find different routes based on IP address with the help of uh, uh, with the help of IP address IP addresses to reach the final destination so network layer move packets from one destination to another because it receives segmentation and uh, network layer convert these segmentation into packets and it moves uh, the packets from one destination to another within network or with one network to another network with the help of routers the next layer is transport layer transport layer layer the main functionality is segmentation first functionality is segmentation what is this segmentation segmentation means when we break large files into small files so that it can be accommodate by network so this is a segmentation next functionality is connection management connection management according to the requirement data transmission method can be uh, connection oriented now you can say uh, can be connectionless for connection oriented we use TCP 
and for connectionless we use UDP sorry it's UDP and the next functionality of transport layer is flow control flow control is also the functionality of data link layer in data uh, in data link layer flow control and another functionality is control error control so error control functionality is not available in our transport layer but we can control the flow of data which coming from the source and uh, in the transport layer we uh, process to process delivery delivery of message of message and for this kind of uh, delivery we use port numbers to get which process we want to uh, you know access or to send the data if we use uh, if we uh, so if we if we just use only port numbers for the processes next layer is application layer application layer layer is the highest layer of the OSI model used to send or receive used to send or receive data over the network over the network all applications that communicate with the network comes in this layer um, applications like browsers FTP SNMP likewise so network layer is move packets from one destination to another transport layer is process to process message delivery and for this kind of delivery we use port numbers application layer is allow resources to network access the so answer is a next question a grammar is ll1 if and only if the following conditions we uh, three conditions are given and uh, one production is given and we have to identify which uh, conditions follow ll1 parsing parser sorry so ll1 is a top down parser assume first check first condition hold or not assume one production like uh, the production is like this a a and uh, a b let's say this is number one this is number two okay now find a first of s first of s for this production is a and for second first of s is a so in one shell like if uh, this is a parsing table parsing table the the uh, terminals are a and dollar and uh, variable is s so the first of s for this uh, production one is uh, placed here and for production two also we placed first of s is in one only so at most one production is allowed in one shell but we placed two production in one shell so the intersection of first of alpha and first of beta should not be equal to a should not be same so this condition holds 
likewise second is true which is similar reason as for first first of alpha intersection first of beta not equal to phi it means empty string now the third condition is first of alpha intersection follow of a is equal to phi if lambda belongs to first of beta um, let's assume for the third condition assume s is asa and epsilon is lambda and a belongs to a implies a now the first of s is a and epsilon we are not allowed to put epsilon in the in the input string so we use so we do not use epsilon in the parsing table so whenever we get this we take follow of s follow of s is first of a first of a is a so again two entries in one shell is not allowed so the first of alpha and its intersection of follow of a should be phi so oh, uh, condition 1 condition 2 and condition 3 all are follow so the answer is D actually the first of alpha and first of beta should not be empty string this is also right so the answer is D next question is which of the following suffices to convert an arbitrary con uh, uh, CFC to an LL1 grammar LL1 is top down parser without backtrack for LL1 parser grammar should be uh, we have to uh, follow three conditions must be satisfied for th LL1 parser three conditions must be satisfied for LL1 parser and the conditions are first condition is grammar should be un unambiguous no ambiguous grammar can generate LL1 grammar so grammar should be unambiguous second condition is deterministic deterministic or you can say no left factoring is allowed left factoring uh, like we have a b or a this kind of production is not allowed the next is no left recursion Recur left recursion like S, C or P. This is the left recursion. So, if we find uh, left factoring or uh, left recursion in the grammar, so we we first remove it, and then we move to LL1 grammar. So, three conditions we have to follow to convert any context-free grammar to ln1 grammar so the answer should be d removing left recursion and factoring the grammar is not sufficient we have to check whether the grammar is unambiguous or not next question is a shift reduce parser suffer from shift reduce conflict reduce reduce conflict actually shift reduce parser suffer from both shift reduce, uh, reduce conflict and reduce reduce conflict so the answer is c